No, no, no. I don't think it's an opinion. I, I don't necessarily know like where you're getting these statistics, but I don't think Joe Biden is just like, come on in. Like everyone's opened the border. No, he it's absolutely, like he absolutely did that. No. He What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm the Nephias Collins. And I'm married to the overreacting to students claim Biden secured the border. Um, Charlie Kirk set the record straight. So without further ado, let's get started. Which one was managing the border better? I think Joe Biden. I will justify that. I will justify it. Okay. Please. Economically, when an immigrant comes to this country, even an illegal immigrant, even someone who does not have high level, high earning skills, they contribute more to the economy as a whole than they take away. They contribute to fixed expenses like the military. They provide more into social benefits than they take. And if we're talking about issues with like job scarcity, what we actually have is an issue with job distribution and the way our systems are set up to take advantage of poor Got working it. class Americans. So, so do you believe in borders at all? Um, I believe that practically, yes. I believe that there does need to be major reform in the way we deal with borders. I, I, I just think, want to make sure you understand, how many people do you think are coming across the border every day? I do not have the exact numbers on that, yes. but I think it's a reasonable amount. Um, I'd probably say in the thousands, tens of thousands. Yeah, 10 to 15,000 a day. So to put that annualized, that's 3.65 million a year minimum, sure. right? That is the population more than some U.S. states. You're saying it's all a benefit. First of all, tell that to the family of Lake and Riley, okay? Secondly, <laughs> secondly, I asked you a question. Who is managing the border better? We don't have a border under Biden. You arrive, you're in. We've gotten rid of DNA that, testing. That is just not true. Hold on a second. How many people are being turned away at the border? Are we doing DNA testing, background checks? But you mean like turned away at the border? Lots of people are turned away at the border. Immigrating who? to the U.S. legally, like the majority Hold of on, people no, no. who don't if have you, visas. If you show up in Ciudad Juarez at the other side of El Paso and you claim asylum, welcome, buddy. You get a free ticket to the interior United States, cell phone, benefits, social security number, and you are now in the United States of America despite breaking the laws. And that's fine. We just have a difference of opinion on this. I just I find it so interesting of someone who's trying to like justify the breaking coming into our country and the breaking of our laws, but. I, I, for, you have for, a right to that opinion. So. No, no, no. I don't think it's an opinion. I, I don't necessarily know like where you're getting these statistics, but I don't think Joe Biden is just like, come on in. Like everyone's opened the border. No, he it's absolutely, still, like, he absolutely did that. No, he has not. Oh, really? He has not been like that. And that and, yeah, and, yes, and, and more than that, what actually we need when we're talking about immigration reform, we need to make immigration more accessible for legal immigration. Now, how about this? Or we need to put our own U.S. citizens first ahead of foreigners. <laughs> yeah. Isn't the whole idea of a government? that the, U the citizens of the country should come above the citizens of another country? Uni United States citizens, we are immigrants. I, like, hold no, on, no, 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 hold on a second. Our, a second. Some are immigrants here. Some are descendants of settlers. Settlers and immigrants are two different things. Settlers come to a barren land and build something new. Immigrants come to a country that's already barren? built. Barren? Yeah, barren. Like, okay. I don't know, Plymouth Rock. Okay, I, I won't get into that. I'm, I, you know what, I'll, I'll let more questions get. No, so but no, I, I, I appreciate okay. the clarity. I, I feel the guy wanted Ooh. to hit, you know, him on that word he said. He said, when, when you come to a barren land, it's like you come to a land that is not... Um, like, yes, like, not really, like, no one has, you know, occupied the land. And mm -hmm. you know what the other video said? He said, American did genocide, you know, to claim that land from the, I don't know whether they, they are Native American or from the Indians, I don't know. But I feel that is why he said he's not going to open that door. But this is, this is a beautiful one. I enjoyed the debate and I feel like um, if you support Biden, you will see a reason why the guy is saying that, like he's trying to support Biden. Like he's, he feel like no one just entered the border without, you know, um, knowing why you are there. Like no one, they won't, they won't just open the border for you, like just walk through and come to America. There, there are border controls there, but I think what, um, what they call Charlie is saying is the border control was strict, you know, back then when Trump was in power. You know, you just don't walk in there and look for asylum and they will just welcome you in. You know, they'll have to do a background check yeah. on you to know whether you are really there for the benefit of America or if you have past, you know, criminal record before they allow you to cross their border. But I think that is the best thing to do because you don't just enter any country without, you know, proper documentation. And... You, like just start staying in the country like to me i feel like um it, it's not a good way to go about it you see especially if you are entering a developed country you need to be prepared or have yeah. your proper documents before you you you'll be allowed any entry into that country and i feel you know 
Charlie's right. I know if you are an immigrant, Im- immigrant, or you are planning to travel to United States, you're not going to agree with this. But it's okay. But every country would would do that. Every yeah. every country would put. Every government put that. Every government will put their country first. I know it's selfish, but everyone will do that. It's not only America that is doing. I know America is like I said, United States. You know, everyone want to, I mean, travel to that place because opportunities they are clearly seen. You know, but then at least if you are doing it, you do it the right way. You 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 get your valid documents and to avoid all this. You know, I I. I, I really agree with what Charlie is saying because I know people usually say people usually voted against um, Trump that time because he said he was straight with this immigrant immigration processes. Yeah. He was really straight. And I didn't really understand it that time. I, I'm not getting it because every gov- government will do the same thing. If my country is just an open core country and everyone enters, I think it's affected, it, it affects the country, That's you know? True. So <laughs> I didn't really, I really understand this process before, but I think, yeah, Charlie has a point. As a country, you, you need to put your country first. I know it's selfish, but that is the betterment of the country, you know. And he's saying, is it true, um, Biden, that, uh, everybody should come, I vote you open up for that. It doesn't make sense. Like, why would Charlie say that? Because, and now, especially now that um, these uh, LGBTQ has been overruled, like yeah, it's really raining in African country, people are just entering us because with this ideology asylum. of asylum you know <laughs> and during trump time you'll not hear that yeah this thing like i'm going to america to see asylum they have sacked me from my country because i'm um, that's really, oh, it's not happening that way but now you used to hear it a lot and i think that charlie has a point over there well i think that's the best way of you know living africa now you know yeah you can just find a, a guy that you like and you guys can just travel and so you're going to seek asylum yeah, it's true. You can decide what to do when you get there. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry for that. This is a beautiful one. We enjoyed it. And uh, you see, based on the example I gave, it's a reason why you should not open your border to everyone because yeah. people can just pretend that, you know, they yeah. are not allowed to practice LGBT and they'll have access to your country. Let us know what you think in the comment section. If it's your first time visiting the channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I remember this.